Parker. Michelle, what can I do for you? Hey, do you remember about the carriage chair that I mentioned that we're wanting to do? I'm sorry, say that again? Do you remember the Karen chair that I mentioned to you a couple weeks ago that we want to set up and do? Um, not particularly yet. Give me some details. Um, I just need a location to um, set out a couple of tables for free clothing for the community and it's got a bunch of miscellaneous items where they can come once a month and pick it up. Okay, so what's the uh, what location that you have in mind? Well, um, kind of on the main drag where it's kind of public so that everybody yeah, it's an easy, quick pickup. We're gonna be. It, it'll just be sitting on tables. There's shoes. There's household items. All sorts of different kind of things, and it's just free. Nobody has to pay anything. Um, well, um, at this point, what I'd probably tell you to do is, uh, is send a send a re an email request. Just email in your location and what you what you're gonna be using it for. Uh, I'll, uh, that's something the trustees will make the decision on. I I can tell you guys are are. Uh, hurting your ability to get anything from the trust or any cooperation from the trust with, with a lot of the choices you're making, but that's not for me to decide. That's for the trustees. So send me an email um, and identify the location, what you intend to do, with, and then I will, I will let the trustees, I mean, obviously the trustees make that decision. Okay. Thank you. Do you have my email address? Um, hold on one second. I can get it. currently driving. Okay, email? My email address is jeff at jeffjbarlowlaw.com jeffjbarlowlaw.com so jeff at jeffjbarlowlaw.com Okay. Alrighty. Hey, thank you. Hey, I also was wondering, um, have you heard anything as far as housing options? Are you serious? Uh huh, serious. No, I mean, we sat down and talked about a plan, and you guys decided to go a different route. Oh, well, we weren't able to come in um, when you, the meeting was going, so. You were wondering if you've found anything or... Well, I, uh, maybe this is a, an assumption on my part, but I assume that after we sat down, we talked about the, the right way to go about getting housing from the trust, and then you guys chose to post notices all over town that, that you had rejected the appropriate way to get housing and decided to go the wrong and almost 100% guaranteed to lead nowhere out, um, that's, was that a, am I missing something or did you guys actually still think you were going to be working through the Board of Trustees to find housing in this town? Well, you know our situation. Um, well, your situation is you're close to your notices all over town and we're about to get a restraining order against you. When you came in and sat down with me in my office and I talked to you about the right way to go about getting a house, and then within two days you're posting notices all over UEP property and you're posting things all over Facebook criticizing the board, how could you possibly think that that was in any way related to the process that I had talked to you about? I mean, the, the board of trustees has a, a job to do and they want to work with people, but one of the one of the factors that the, tr that the court has instructed them to use in deciding how to give out benefits and who to provide housing for is cooperation with the Board of Trustees. Would you describe what you guys have been doing over the past two or three weeks, cooperation with the Board of Trustees? I see. So, I mean, I, I tried to be very honest with you guys. I tried to be very clear about the right way to go about getting housing. And I said, if you guys go through this process the right way, 
I don't see any reason why the trustees wouldn't use their discretion to help you guys find a property where you can stabilize and work toward a deed and put your greenhouse is in. Uh, you have gone since that meeting and done exactly the opposite of what we talked about in every tenth of the word. So I'm I'm actually kind of confused. I assumed you had rejected the petition process and that you are not willing to go through the process the court has set up. Are you telling me that you you think somehow you can do both? You can post notices and stir up trouble and criticize the board, and yet you through the board process? I'm confused. What What's your goal? Oh, no, I'm just simply just following up, seeing if you did come across anything, and if you didn't, that's fine. Uh, just simply. There's always, there's always houses that open up. I told you that. There will be houses that open up for probably the next two to four years. But in order to to get into a trust house, then there's a process that we talked about. And if you follow that process, it's very likely that the board would help you guys get into a home. If you don't follow that process, it's very unlikely that you'll get into a trust home. All right. I, that's all I was wondering. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye.